find the distance between P, which is at minus 2, 1, and Q at 3, 3. So we're going to draw this, we're going to do this by drawing a little sketch. So if we just give ourselves some axes, like that, it doesn't have to be perfect. We've got the x-axis and the y-axis. So minus 2, 1 is going to be 1, 2 along and 1 up. So somewhere around there, that's at minus 2, 1. And 3, 3 is going to be 1, 2, 3 along, like that, and 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 up. So it's going to be somewhere around there. That is Q at 3, 3. And this was P at minus 2, 1, just like that. So what we're going to do here, we are going to make a right angle triangle. So I'm going to join these with a line straight as I can do and then I'm going to draw the horizontal line between the two and I'm going to draw the vertical line. This, Because this is horizontal and this is vertical this must be 90 degrees so this is PQ here that length you can call it, we can call it D if, if you like Whichever, so I'll probably call it D for this, but, but you could quite happily call it PQ, no problem. So what we need to do, we can sort of either count, if we had squares we could count squares, but given that we don't, I need to work out this distance and this distance, so the horizontal and the vertical. So this is at minus 2, and this is at 3, so to get from minus 2 to 3, in fact if I just draw some notches, so that's at minus 1, and one and two. So if I just do that, it probably will help. Minus one. So this is from here to here. It's one, two, three, four, five. That has a length of five. If I do something similar here, this was from one to three. So if this is one over here, and this is three, two must be somewhere in the middle of those two. So. This one here, from 1 to 3, is 1, 1, 2. This here has a length of 2. So now, if you just look at the triangle, you know it's a right-angled triangle, so we can use Pythagoras' theorem, which tells you in, in any right-angled triangle, um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the longest side opposite the right-angle, and A and B are the two short sides. So in our case, the A and the B are the two and the five, and the C is either P, Q, or D, whichever we want to call it. So let's say five squared plus two squared equals D squared. Five squared is 25. Two squared is four equals D squared. So 25 plus four, is 29 so d squared equals 29 which means that d equals the square root of 29 so that is it um, as an exact answer and then if you need it to three significant figures you put that into your calculator and that comes out as 5.3851648 blah 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 so if you want the three significant figures you find the third significant figure one two three it's the eight the five will make the eight round up so it equals 5.39 now don't be tempted to put centimeters we don't know um, what the lengths are measured in so we're just going to put units for a length and that's to three significant figures